you have received the package all the way from the USA, courtesy of Kentex Cargo. So the big uh, surprise is here, guys. Big, big surprise. Big now. surprise is here. And uh, you can see, yes, Peter did it, so he's open on it. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Peter, and of course, the channel is Peter Did It. Today I'm coming from eh, West Rads Road. It's going this way. So today I'm going to take you on a journey to West Rads, eh? So if you have not subscribed, subscribe to this channel and let's go! Eh? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Westras Road. It heads all the way. It connects to Mpaka Road. Mpaka Road, then it connects to Pakrads Road, which connects to around Sarit Center. That's the most uh, famous uh, landmark around Westras. I know most of you that are in Nairobi have heard of Sarit Center. It's a mall. Yeah? So let's continue and uh, let's see how this place looks like. I hope you enjoy this video. So here are roadside kiosks. Okay. Let's move. So I'm moving this way so that uh, we can see how it's looking. And ahead here is the GTC. No, this one actually is not the GTC. GTC is next to it. That one. This one right here. Okay. This one is the GTC Global Trade Center. Robot Trade Center by Avic International. It's the tallest building in Kenya with 42 floors. So I'm still moving along uh, Westras Road. And this uh, pink, is it pink? Short building. It's Kempiski, oh, Vira Rosa Kempiski, sorry. It's a five star hotel with pre Presidential Suite. Eh? That's where uh, dign dignitaries are, are hosted when they come to Kenya. Or Sarova or, or even Serena. There are three, the three main ones. So right here, we have the GTC by Avic International. Yeah, let's move. Yeah, they have planted nice babu trees. Look at this tall building. So this one that is in front, uh, it's the one that hosts the... Uh, it's 35 floors and it hosts, it hosts the US hotel chain. JW Marriott, it's that five floors. And then we have the JTC that is uh, composed of office blocks. Yeah? It's 42 floors. And then we have other residential executives, which are these small ones this one and this one and we have another one it's it's uh, 28 floors the GTC eh? okay. this is how it's looking it's looking so nice this one is 28 floors it holds the Pan Pacific suited service suite sweet sweet hey eh? <laughs> so let me go to the other side so that I can show you how it's looking Amazing GTC. Oh. Yeah, we have the Ziki. Eh? This restaurant, eh? and this is the GTC itself, the tallest building in Kenya, composing of 42 floors. I know somebody will say that's the Britam Tower. Britam Tower is the tallest, but in terms of floors, the GTC is taller because. Uh, Britam Tower has a like a sharp beam on top because mm -hmm. when they are measuring the height of a building, they they measure the height. You see the GTC residences. I told you this one uh, executive residence suites. See how they are planted, amazing. You can see you can see from this point. Eh? It's looking so nice. And the road is uh, it's also well maintained. 
So I'm heading this way. I will join Mpaka Road. Eh? I'll join Mpaka Road. Eh? You see how it's looking nice. Eh? If, if it were not for the for the cars, the number plates, you can think you're in Europe or US. And here we have a, a massage, the advertising. So guys, I've taken the number for the for the massage parlor. Today I'm going to call and see whether eh, here's the number. Here's the number. So I'm going to call and see if it's legit. If they offer <laughs> What do you call them? Uh, <laughs> uh, happy endings. Let me see if uh, it actually happens or if it's fake. Okay. Line busy. You see, I'm still on West Trans Road. 31. Number 31. So they have named their houses here. So that's uh, the style. Huh? And the construction is still going on, as you can see. So we are going up. Let's continue going up, 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 up. Let's go up. Let's keep exploring. You can see this. This one is a rich neighborhood, Westrads. Westrads is known for a very rich and expensive office blocks. Like this one are the construction and executive suites or residential apartments. Yes, yes. he's trying to. So we ship from the USA mm -hmm. uh, via Kent and Chicago yes. from Amazon. From Amazon, yeah. The big surprise now. Wow. Finally, finally. finally. It's here. No shaking, shaking, guys. Kiso is not shaking anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. ship all the way from. USA, we are getting the cargo from Amazon mm -hmm. and you pay uh, 15, uh, $15 mm -hmm. package. Mm -hmm. Here are the, the batteries, the, batteries. Mm -hmm. the memory card. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be two. We we'll check, we we'll check. Mm -hmm. This is a battery, mm -hmm. spare battery, and, uh, the that's memory the card and the adapter. Mm -hmm. Are the main thing here. Eh? Mm, it's finally here. Yeah. Yeah, the longer we take, uh, <laughs> you know, the parcel is here. So yeah? it's okay. Yeah. But there was supposed to be two batteries. There's supposed to be two batteries. You check, maybe it's inside. Eh? Oh, it's, it's here. Yeah, maybe it's there. Yeah. Let's see. We, we, we check. We check yeah. it's here. You can open, you can still open. It's nothing else. But I mean, eh? I mean, let me open from inside. You see, what if it's inside there? Eh? Yeah. So the battery. So this is a spare battery. Mm -hmm. Go to 12. So let's open here. We, I think you are the one supposed to open. <laughs> this is your, this is <laughs> yeah, so let me see what's inside, guys. But however, from the package, you can see it's a GoPro 11, guys. So let's see from inside. Let me try to shake because I can hear something inside. It's there. Yeah. Okay. So let's um, open. Okay, our big package has arrived huh, from USA. Here it is. It's a GoPro 11. Two batteries, spare batteries. Huh? And the Type C charger. Some accessories. This one you stick on the helmet and you attach the GoPro here. And this one is the one you use to attach here. Eh? For the GoPro user, and this one is called the thumb screw. Eh? So that's it. And the memory card, very crucial. Here it is. Eh? Cutsy of Kentuck. They have not paid me to advertise. <laughs> but maybe they should make me their brother ambassador. So if you are shipping from USA to Kenya, you should not be worried. Eh? Your package will arrive within a, a month to be here. So let's continue. That's the package. So, so I'm still in Westrads, and this one is called Barbecue Nation. For the meat lovers, we want to have some nyama choma. Barbecue is nyama choma. And, and it's very nice. Huh? Can so water is coming from the tarmac 
this one is called madonna house in westlands so i had here is called mpaka road so i'm going to use mpaka road so that i can connect on this side to to park lads road then i head to sarit center so join me enjoy the vlog we have some snacks very common snacks we have uh, boiled potatoes i'm headed to sarit center this road heads direct to sarit center in westland eh? it's a victoria court they deal in uh, furniture yeah, Westrad is uh, comprised mostly of office blocks and also executive apartments here we have a Las Vegas casino this one is a casino for the casino lovers gambling, if you love gambling come here to las vegas actually las vegas in the us is known you know what they say what happens in las vegas stays in las vegas according to prestige <laughs> So I'm walking by the roadside and actually I don't like vlogging by the roadside because the cars make a very funny noise. Here we have moving moving peak. Over to the other side in the trees is Westgate Mall that was under terrorist attack uh, some few years ago. So it's very risky to to film in this area. Yeah. It's very risky. You can see tall buildings under construction. Yeah. The Westlands is uh, home to very expensive office blocks and very expensive cars will be passing around here. Like for that one, Posh Cayenne. Posh Cayenne! See this one at the construction. This is Kiswa. Yes, yes, this guy is. Uh, oh. We are in Westlands, guys. Uh -huh. <laughs> Westlands. Yes. How do you see Westlands so far? This place looks like Europe. Amazing, <laughs> really amazing, guys. Europe. So we, so we have managed to go around. <laughs> so I don't know where the right is hitting properly. <laughs> Sorry. So uh, we have managed to. We are a bit dark on this side. <laughs> so you know, this one is Westgate Mall. This one. So it was at a terrorist attack. So yeah. recording here is very tricky. Yeah, yes. Because yes. of uh, security, security issues. issues. Also, or security measures. Uh, uh, and also, yeah, but, uh, people actually, coming here, yeah. don't try to fly drones in Westland. Yeah. So, you know why? Mm. Westland is close proximity to, to Gigiri. Mm -hmm. To Gigiri, mm -hmm. which is the uh, UN headquarters. Mm -hmm. There is also US Embassy, which is the most secured place most in secure Kenya. One. Yeah, in Kenya. It is secured yeah. by Marines, US yeah. Marines. Are you sure it's Marines? <laughs> yeah, US Marines banner. <laughs> it's not like secured by Kenyans, by Kenya police or military. It's the US military. And also, there are other embassies like Finland, Ukraine, yeah. Russia. They are also in this area. Well, so if you fly a drone, you have you be in for it yeah so actually actually guys this is the safest area westlands uh because this is also where, where the rich you know do there there are no more activities like the rich find, of the rich yes yeah, so like you find uh, most offices uh they are situated or located in this area so this is the safest area guys in westlands yeah let's continue yeah, amazing amazing well, over here is westgate you can see westgate more this is the roundabout for westgate so let's continue so guys like i told you the mall here which is Westgate Mall you can see from there it's written Westgate Mall it was at a terrorist attack and many people lost their lives so they don't allow recording they are very keen with security 
These are very nice apartments. Nice looking apartments. You can see how this environment is working, eh? Look at this! It's called Novotel. Novotel. I think it's a hotel. Guys, if you are looking for flowers, eh, this is the place. You can come and buy flowers here. They deal with few flowers, planters. All manner of flowers. This one is manure. Eh? Let's go this way. Let's follow this road. Eh? Flowers after flowers. Eh? This one is in Westward. And the weather is looking like it can rain anytime. So you can see how it's looking over here. So I'm using this road so that I can connect to the Pony Road, then Jen Wumadenge. Jen Wumadenge was a Mau Mau. I want to connect to Jen Wumadenge Road. And we can see what's up on that side, what's going on there. More. That was a dark attack. So be careful. When you are coming to vlog, if you are a vlogger, so to don't fight yourself in hot soup. So it's a river, I'm not sure which river it is. Pony road in uh, Westlands. Eh? They have planted a hedge of hibiscus. Hibiscus is very nice, it's very refreshing. And people have urinated there. They are very bad, bad behaviors. It's in the evening, people are going home from work. People are going home from work, and I'm here vlogging, trying to look for content for you guys to take you around Nairobi. But sometimes taking these videos is very, uh, very challenging, I might say, because you have to walk all this distance. Yeah. Because uh, I don't uh, use like uh, motorbike or vehicle, you can see the, the pony road number nine. Here yeah, we have very nice looking apartments. Hey, this place, uh, I've seen many expensive cars, Ridge Rovers, Rad Rovers, Porsche Cayenne, Audi. Uh, you can see even another one there. And at the X, they are following each other. All those are expensive vehicles. Toyota Prado TX and uh, a Ridge Rover Sport House. I had here it's called General Madenge Road. Like I told you, General Madenge was a, a Mau Mau general. Or oh, the Kenya Rad and uh, Def Kenya Rad Defense Army. Popularly known as Mau Mau. And there's a, a funny story about General Madenge. Uh, it's told that uh, he disappeared to Ethiopia after the British uh, knew about him. And then during the, the, the era of Kibaki, our former president, who is late now, there's a guy who came from Ethiopia, pretended to be General Madenge. And he was given state welcome. Uh, there is a guy with a fat, fat tire bike. Uh, he was given state welcome, only to find out that he was a fake Madenge. <laughs> that guy enjoyed all the privileges. Eh? General Madenge. Uh, from my previous section, I've just given you a brief history of General Madenge on how it came to be named General Madenge. He was the the um, Mau Mau general and disappeared to Ethiopia, never to be seen again. You can see 
this is very expensive cars. Porsche Cayennes, Prados, Range Rovers. And very nice looking apartments. Eh? Nice houses. Hey, this place is looking nice. Look at those buildings. They are looking round. <laughs> is it round? Over, over, sorry. Over. Taking out garbage. Another Porsche. Porsche Cayenne. These are garbage trucks. No, I have garbage trucks. So old. They are always old. Here we have Casabera Apartments. 33 wide chimes. This one is called Donya Sabuk Lane. Donya Sabuk. So I'm just walking along General Madege Road. Just taking you along. Just walking aimless. Going nowhere. So I'll reach uh, at a point if I see there's nothing more interesting, I'll go back. That's how I do it. <laughs> but you can see where I've come from. I've come from very far. This one is Westrads. You can see the there it's looking clean and well maintained. Ahead there we have the Aga Khan University Hospital. They are saying it's an executive clinic. This one is General Madega Lane and you cannot pass there if you are not a resident. So most of the residences here are restricted to only uh, tenants. There is another building here. Looking nice! Hey, this place is looking nice. This is restaurant and it's a, a very expensive area. One of the most expensive neighborhoods in Kenya. If you want a spa in General Madenga, you call Bafly, Caspa. Oh no, this one is a Caspa. I thought this is a spa for, for massage. It's for cars. Look at this. This one are very expensive. These are not for the, the common citizen. It's for the rich. Personally, I'm not even in that group. Um, I'm, I can categorize myself as poor. <laughs> you can see 48 General Mavenga Drive. You can see where I've come from. This residence, they're looking amazing. They even have a lift, it's going down there. It's a little uh, exotic dogs here. It's looking nice. Right here we have the Nairobi Academy. Look how well maintained this uh, footpath is. Huh? This one is a kid of that, eh? It's called the Nairobi Academy in West Rags, Nairobi. Like I told you, West Rags is one of the richest neighborhoods in uh, Kenya. It's the rich of the rich. And most of these places, you must have uh, a residence card for you to access. They usually have a barricade, so there are places you cannot pass. But for this road, this one is public, so for me I can pass, since I'm not even a resident of this area. Look at that! So me, uh, I'm just taking you around to show you how good it looks here in uh, Westrads, Nairobi. Here we have the Yield Foods, Vanayak Complex. And uh, Indians mostly dominate these areas. So there's fruits and vegetable spot here. That one has a very nice looking bike. So guys, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that like button. 
and leave a comment. This one is called Krishna Pride. That's an Indian word, Krishna. Hare Krishna. <laughs> Maybe you have heard of Hare Krishna. Hey, 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 hey. Guys selling donuts. Look, Yee! these are the rich. The rich they enjoy all this. That car with the red number plate. That's a UN vehicle. UN. Very nice looking. The gardens are well manicured. Even on all this side, this other side, you can see. Hey, I'm enjoying this place. I'm really enjoying. This one is called General Madenge Road. All the way from where I started, where I was explaining why it was named General Madenge. What's the name of that dog? This one is called Oyster Pier. Pier. How do you call, how do you, do you pronounce that? Pia. 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 Wow. Very nice looking buildings. This one is called Azalea Square. This one. Azalea Square. Another one here called T Wall. Uh, I've just left General Madega Road. I'm just walking over to that side. That is Lower Kabete Road heading to Kabete. Uh, Lower Kabete. Uh, so I want to go back. So I want to go to that side. So let me go back so that I can connect back to Westgate Mall, then Sarit Center. And then back to CBD. And I don't want to to make the the journey so long because I've been walking on foot or from CBD. Imagine. So subscribe to my channel to support me. Let's go to a thousand subscribers today. Like I told you, I'm taking you on a tour of West Lads, Nairobi, Kenya, one of the richest neighborhoods. Like you have seen those apartments. You have seen those apartments. They are very expensive. So this one is Ruaka Bete Road. Okay. I won't go that side. Or I use this one to go back to town. Let me see. Kids are looking tired. <laughs> I'm exhausted. This is the real vlogging. So yeah. if you see us vlogging and you see a vlog of the city, <laughs> support. This is what we go through. <laughs> I'm extremely exhausted, guys. <laughs> That's Kiswa. Maybe you want to take an Uber to town, but for me, I walk. Don't give up. So I'm going back this way. This General Madenge, I connect to uh, Sarit Center or Westgate. Let's go back. Also, my dad is going to town. Look at that apartment. Huh? You can see. It's negative. I'm now going back and I have to tell you that most people that reside in these areas are mostly the Indians and expatriates. And expatriates I mean people that have moved from other countries to come to work for Kenya. Work, work in Kenya like the UN the, and other embassies they, and they are not Kenyans, right? For those that may not know the meaning of expatriates. Also if you are a Kenyan and you go to work for a country like um, Uganda or even overseas, you'll be an expatriate of that country. So I'm going back, I had uh, passed here, but uh, I want to show you like an, an upper view. This one is called a TV, a TV apartments. You can see more apartments are coming up. There they have the green. Very exotic dogs here. This one is a golden retriever. Golden retriever. They are walking their dogs. You know, if you don't walk your dog, 
it will use that energy wherever it is maybe chew seeds it will be destructive so you if you're having a dog and it is indoor not like the free range dogs if it's indoor make sure you walk it at least twice in a week so that you can uh, use that excess energy here we have a grocer in the western eh? we have arranged it very well very well so guys you have come to buy some flowers here with the keys over here <laughs> 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 yeah so if you want to buy some flowers it's around Westgate, eh? Westgate uh, or Sarit Center. You come to our guy here, eh? You can give your number. 0743 uh -huh. 662 915. Uh, your name? Dennis. Dennis. Yeah, so guys, if you're in uh, around Westerners and you want to buy some flowers for your sweetheart, like this one, you see? A bouquet of flowers. Surprise your girl or your partner. Promote him, eh? So for us, you're going, it's kids always buying, <laughs> not yeah. me. Yeah, 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 guys. So I need to buy this for my wife, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know, you know, it has been a while. Uh, yeah, since I, I I bought this, so let me also surprise her with some flower. And and uh, also the good thing with flower, you know, when you buy some flower, and then you need to you are pampering for something to happen. You are pampering. You, know? <laughs> you can drop your comment there. Uh, let me understand. If you know, you know. Yeah. You don't know. You don't, you know. don't know. Yeah. So I need to buy. Uh, I don't know now. The this the white one or the. This one is white, red, and then there's some very nice decorations. Yeah. So. Or, or, or I need to have more of uh, red. This one, it has more of red. I think this one is the best. It has a small, small one. Small, so. small. Huh? So Kiso is deciding which to buy. So Dennis has dropped his number. You can come and hit, hit him up. Eh? All right. So guys, this is why I'm going to end my video with a Kiswa here. So you can tell your party to my video. Yeah, what's that? What's that? so it has been an amazing adventure here at Westlands, guys. So we have managed to cover all of Westlands. So if you're new to this channel, also you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, you can go to, on YouTube, Kiswa Adventures. Uh, go check me out. What I'm going, uh, I'm doing, and uh, you can also subscribe there, guys. Yeah. Yes. So that's it for today's video, and also the guys selling flowers. We are out. Peace. Yeah.